This is Ron Josh. This is Michael Chen reporting, reporting for, for Sunspot News. News. Um, Michael Chen came back to our campus from USC to present us some of his work. But before to, we come to his work, um, I, I was wondering what is the biggest difference between high school and college? I believe the biggest difference is that there are more free time, but you ha need to have better time management and no dress code for sure and more party. That sounds pretty good. I'm excited. Only four more weeks to go. Are right, you in? So first year is mostly about like our main focus on geometry. It's not so much about the practicality of the buildings. But starting from the second semester, we're gonna eventually learn about metals, materials. In the third third year, we're gonna learn uh, how you apply these materials and programs. And combining with the issue of you know water pumping and you know electricity line all that stuff, that's the thing we have to concern in the future. But now just all conceptual. And all right, when we come to your um, projects, can you can you talk about it a little bit? About my project. Yes. Okay, so we can see over here we got a project about um, observation tower and like a pier thing by the sea. So the, the location is setting by the side of you know SoCal area, and yeah. So there's our renders of my projects. So uh, Michael, um, can you explain us um, where did you start with your project and um, how how many hours did it take you? Where do I start? Yes. Of course, start from the from the bottom to the top. Yeah, you have you need a foundation, right, for every building. So it took me around three days straight. I pulled two all nighters in a row, to because there's a deadline and I have no choice. And I was sick, and just all desperate. And yeah, but I still made it. I pray to God. To be honest, this is sometimes when you have this like creativity block, I pray to God, give me inspiration, please. The next day. When I wake up, I need an idea, and this this is how, you know, how cruel the art is, you know, how cruel the royal of architecture is, you know. There's a deadline, and you have to give an idea to the jury. You have to persuade. You have to convince them it's a good idea. You have to sell the product to them. You know, the concept is about sublimation. So you know, in science, some sublimation is about how you jump from the solid phase, solid phase to the liquid phase. And in architecture, we're jumping from the solid to the lines, from to the sticks, basically. So how you can see how the transition from the solid part to the line in the end. And here for the pier, is from solid back to, um, with the solid on the side and um, the lines in the middle. Yeah. And this is just a diagram for the programs, like telling you that the path and the enclosed area for you know, restroom and the bicycle entrance on here. Oh, I use Rhino, like it's a program called Rhino. It's a 3D software. And for the drawings, I use um, Illustrator and Photoshop to fix the renders image. Yeah. Yeah. So Mike, we have this huge um, paper in front of us. Uh, what does that have to do with your project? So here's the final plot for my final presentation, which already took place like last, last Monday. And um, this is a project, as I mentioned, it's a project about the observation tower and the like a broadwalk pier uh, project. And so every, for every project, you start with a simple, like a geometric primitive, like a really simple con concept. So my concept is based on this like zigzag cube cubic shape thing and then how I mirror them, align them in five in a row and to uh, create the vertical circulation I have rotate them to um, to connect the tower and the pair. So um, yeah, so this project is about sublimation so you can see the transition from the bottom to the top from uh, from solid to the lines and you can see the solid on the side and then the lines in the middle, and I want to try to create this really monotonous movement, so people can um, experience through the different spatial variation as they 
walk through. So when we go to the next project, um, what is that? It looks like a very luxurious house on at the Hollywood Hills. Yeah, it's actually this is from last semester. That you see all the models from like in the white white museum boards are made last semester, and it's more um, it's um, there's there's no program in this, so I wouldn't say there's any function. Like there's no, like, I wouldn't say I would call this as a tower, like an observation tower. But for this, I wouldn't give a definition of what it's doing. You know, um, but the concept behind is how you create a linear linear circulation through the houses or the structure, the buildings. Um, yeah, so you come out with this one simple module and you see how you can interlock, you know, mush them together to create a, like a continuous path. That's the main purpose. This is your next project. Um, what is this all about? So this is my first project of second semester and the topic is about Boolean difference, um, if you know the term Boolean. Uh, in art, it's about how you, you know, s like, either um, um, how that you ha add them together or took them apart. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a term like you don't have to, no, you don't have to know it. But anyway, so it's about this. Is a, this project is about bath pavil pavilion. So this is, this is kind of like a bathhouse where people can like stay in there, and there's the shading area and lounging area, and there's uh, like an area you can see the sunset. And stuff, yeah. Looks nice. And um, your next project is similar to it. At least it. Um, I mean made out of the same material. It's the same material. What is this all about? This is more conceptual. This is actually not. This is more actually my study model. But I think it looks kind of cool. You can you, know, you can hang on the wall, and just gonna, you can actually put it in the art gallery, and people will buy it for millions of dollars. I'm just saying. Anyways, uh, uh, this is about continuous surface. So you see how the lines actually connect to each other in one single stroke. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. So, so I've been a few weeks ago, I've been at your dormitory, and I have to say your dorm is completely different to our dorms. What are the main differences? Well, I'm uh, very fortunate to live in the single room, so I, do, I don't have to share with, uh, share with anyone. But I mean, I spend most of the time in the studio anyway, so that's such a waste, to be honest. But we got you no know, personal refrigerators, microwaves, and and like a really huge closet and a single bed. And yeah, pretty much the rest of it is pretty much the same. Um, okay, that's all very interesting, but we know you go to USC, and um, it's not only about studying. What else are you doing during your free time? No, there's no such a thing as free time in my dictionary. It's just like I'm no, I'm like a like a like a workaholic thing, like a person. You know, I dedicate most of the time my work, so I don't. Unfortunately, I don't have too much time to have that involvement with you uh, know the social life, you know the college life. But eventually, I will. Like I'm thinking of pledging frat next year, hopefully. And but USC, there I can tell you that like, there's a lot of fun definitely happening in USC. So if you got accepted to USC and you're not coming, then you know you're gonna you're gonna regret it. You know you're gonna regret it if not coming to USC because you're gonna like, explore a lot of fun. You're gonna meet a lot of people, make a lot of connection. You know, connection is about like seriously a key. A key part about success is all about connection. If you got connection, boom, making that dough, you know, making that money. I'm telling you, it's all about connection. All right, so um, if you guys are getting accepted to USC, you can hang out with our homie. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs>